Heavy fighting has taken place in Avdivka in the Donetsk region, as Russia continues to lay siege to the city. However, the Russian offensive was repelled by Ukrainian forces after they launched a massive counterattack against Russian military personnel and equipment. Ukrainian forces damaged and destroyed nearly 50 Russian tanks in just 24 hours as Vladimir Putin's forces launched a new wave of attacks in the Donetsk region. Russian forces launched a new offensive near Advika, indicating Moscow's commitment to conduct offensive operations in the area, despite heavy material and personnel losses. This includes the damage and destruction of nearly 50 Russian tanks and more than 100 armored vehicles by Ukrainian forces during the past day of fighting. Russian mill blogger, Rybar, aka Mikhail Zavinchik, claimed that Ukrainian forces managed to break through Russian defenses and advance through the Dnipro River to the east, crossing into Russian-occupied territory. The mill blogger stated that they temporarily occupied the village of Poima and positions on the northern outskirts of Pishchanivka on the afternoon of October 17. He then claimed that Russian forces pushed Ukrainian troops back from these positions in the direction of the Dnipro River. Analysts note that while assessing precise losses in terms of personnel is challenging, it is estimated that casualties among Russian forces run into the hundreds in this region. Analysts say Russia's goal is to encircle the city and take over the high ground near the industrial facilities that will give Russia effective fire control over Ukraine's supply routes. Meanwhile, official details of Ukraine's latest cross-river operation are scant. But Ukrainian troops appeared to have crossed the Dnipro River into the Russian-occupied Kherson region, according to pro-Kremlin military bloggers. Popular Russian military blogger War Gonzo said Friday that fighting on the eastern bank of the Dnipro had continued near the coastal village of Krinky, speculating, Ukrainian troops are trying to gain a foothold and pull up reserves to develop their initiative on the Dnipro bank controlled by the Russian army. Earlier in the week, Russian bloggers claimed Ukrainian military units had crossed the river, breaking through some Russian defenses and pushing into the villages of Poima and Pishchanivka on the eastern bank. Kyiv has not officially commented on cross-river operations in the region. Ukraine has previously carried out raids on the eastern bank of the Dnipro River in Kherson. Ukrainian forces first established a bridgehead on the Russian-controlled bank of the river near the Antonisky Bridge in June and have carried out other raids over the summer. Meanwhile, over the last week, a secret delivery of American weapons and a cross-river raid have injected much-needed energy into Ukraine's largely stalled counteroffensive. Vladimir Putin said Russia will be able to repel attacks by Ukraine's new long-range weapons supplied by the US, which Kyiv used to launch one of the most damaging attacks on the Kremlin's air assets since the start of the war. He said his forces will be able to repel attacks by the top-tier missile system. Russian ambassador to the US Anatoly Antonov said that Washington's decision to provide Ukraine with ATACMS is reckless and a grave mistake that won't alter the continuing war's outcome.
Ukraine said it used the ATACMS to destroy nine Russian helicopters, as well as ammunition, an air defense system, and other assets at two airfields in regions occupied by Russia, marking a significant blow to Mr. Putin's military infrastructure. While Russia claimed it is not majorly affected, experts have said ATACMS will shift the battlefield layout to some degree because it will create pressure on Moscow's forces to disperse its aircraft and ammunition depots parked near the front line and in the Ukrainian territories it currently occupies. Russia has actively used aircraft to halt Ukraine's ongoing counteroffensive. For more than 600 days now, Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine has continued in stages of slow grinding warfare and active fighting in eastern and southern fronts on the battlefield. A protracted war of attrition is expected at least through next year as Ukraine seeks to push off every Russian soldier from its territory. Russia and Ukraine are eyeing battlefield advantages alongside consolidating their positions ahead of the three months of slow operations as rain, snow, and poor visibility are expected to hamper the movement of tanks. The British Defense Ministry has said Russian forces are currently trying to push forward in some parts of eastern Ukraine. But these areas are well defended by Ukraine and it is highly unlikely the Russians will accomplish their goal of a major breakthrough. 